What's the simplest method you've employed to drop weight without putting in much work or discipline? Eating healthy diet makes staying a healthy weight not hard at all. Our ancestors mostly stayed in a healthy weight most of their lives, and most of them never even heard of calorie counting. People think it just they walk more. But really their diet is more to blame. They didn't have corporations that added fats, processed carbs, and sugars to everything to make it taste better. So if you cut foods with excesses of those three things, and eat a balanced diet, you'll find staying a healthy weight is very easy. Not this grueling chore most people with shitty diets think losing weight is. I only eat dinner. Dinner is the best meal of the day. Breakfast is the worst so that's easy to skip yes. I'll die on the hill. Okay, breakfast is fine. At stop pretending it's better than lunch or dinner. That's just stupid. Eat only an apple or some other fruit for lunch added bonus because eating lunch makes you lethargic in the afternoon. You'll have more energy if you skip it. Then when dinner rolls around you fucking feast look. I'm not a doctor, but this works for me. A man with extremely high metabolism who's never actually had any weight to lose. Keeping my neck carbs under 20 day. I lost 30 pounds in for months. Zero exercise. The only work is that you need to track what you eat and it helps if you like to cook. But it's not a deal breaker. Ultimately, it took more focus than I have. But that's a me thing. Not a method thing. It genuinely works for a lot of people. And long term too. I managed to keep most of it off for about a year. And then COVID hit and I got crazy busy and couldn't continue to put in that focus. That many folks don't find a bit difficult at all. Smoking weed. Apparently it's somewhat common. But if you smoke weed often and get the munchies and indulge in. Those munchies you might just end up dependent on being high in order to actually want food. And that's what happened to me. Though I haven't lost much weight, I still eat considerably less. Also, losing your job and not being able to afford fast food like I used to. It's been like three weeks now. And I honestly don't even crave it as much as before. I don't recommend losing your job. But not buying fast food is good. Just stop eating so much and eat healthier. I lost 30 pounds over the past two years or so by simply cutting out most sugar and reducing portions. I realized that I would just eat until I was full, as do a lot of people. And you really don't need to do that. Eat reasonable portions. You won't feel full but your hunger will be gone and you'll be satisfied. I think your stomach shrinks too if you eat less. So it takes less to fill you up. It's really not hard at all. You just need to change your relationship with food. Ozempic well. Generic semagliotai. After years and years of struggling with weight. It's so easy it feel like cheating. Planning on cutting sugar and getting a bit of exercise in conjunction. But in the meantime the weight is just slowly melting off. The only other time I lost weight like this was about 10 years ago. When I was really strict keto and tracking every bite that went in my mouth. I felt really deprived and make it about 6 months before falling off the wagon. Low sugar. High fiber skip breakfast to a coffee or tea, however much you need to drink to curb cravings without a panic attack. Eat lunch and dinner as usual. Include in that time half the calories you would have had for breakfast so you don't go to bed hungry. Hydrate. A 250,300 cal deficit is perfectly fine. Weight loss slowly is more apt to be kept off. And exercise always helps, of course, but not everyone can do that immediately or ever. So, I wouldn't call it easy. Literally don't eat. It actually works. I guess what I mean is embrace hunger you get used to it. Intermittent fasting is a fancy term for starve, but it works and you actually stop feeling hungry and feel energized and great. You drop body fat not just weight. Drink water and green tea. Your stomach shrinks and you don't need as much food to feel full. Go for walks. They will help you drop weight. It doesn't have to be crazy strenuous exercise. Waking is very good for you. I used to chug ice cold water before eating. Chew my food as slow as possible to trick my brain with the signal of being full. And sometimes brushing my teeth help fight hunger. It's mine over matter kind of approach. In addition to just walking more when you can. Like running an errand. 
I'll look at the distance on maps and say PSH. I can handle a 15 walk then play music or podcast on my headphones. Chicken is my preferred protein because I can cook it so many was. Eat out as little as possible. Try to keep your drinks calorie free. Stop eating when you are full. And don't have junk food snacks in your house. I am not a believer in full on restricting anything. But making them inconvenient is generally more than enough to drop some weight. Doing that for 5 30 minute home workouts a week for like 6 months dropped 40 pounds for me. And I have kept that off while being lazy on the home workouts due to the 4 items at the top. My high school math teacher lost over 100 pounds by just switching from sugar to diet soda. He drank at least L day. One of my docs told me about a patient of hers who is a working mom of multiple kids, who lost 65 pounds by stopping eating her kids' leftovers. She composted them instead of guiltily eating her children's leftovers every meal. I lost 20 pounds. I actually rarely know exactly how much I weigh from stress during first lockdown. 1010 do not recommend. I used to be a personal trainer. Biggest tips are don't buy things at the grocery store that would cause you to go over your daily. Calories. You can't eat it if it isn't in your house. If you need pop, buy diet pop. Don't buy low fat things. Fat keeps you full. Buy low sugar things. Sugar makes you hungrier so you overeat and increase your calories and gain. Wait. Try to consume protein with every meal. I have no car. So I walk and push my son in his stroller to childcare. It is 25 minutes each way. Walking back is much easier without the 13. 5 kgs in the stroller. It is much more fun when it isn't raining, but I have a good rain jacket and cover for the stroller. I have my audiobook going, and between doing this for almost three weeks and weaning my son I have lost quite a bit of weight. Intermittent fasting in summary. You go 36 hours without eating dot dot, started on one day fast moan, then moved to two days moan, free. I lost over 30 pounds, 305,269 pounds in about nine months, with a moderate amount of walking one to miles day. I'm about to cut back to one fast day a week and start a moderate exercise program three days a week to gain muscle mass strength. My servings of fruits and vegetables are every day. Cutting soda sometimes a mini Dr. Pepper cause I love it. Drinking a lot of water, limiting alcohol, and letting myself eat small amounts of what I crave. If you me I am hungry, have an apple. If you're hungry after the apple you can have something else. If you aren't hungry for the apple you aren't really hungry, get out of the kitchen. Note I applied this to non-meal eating. E snack attacks. This and Sicko helped me drop a bunch and mostly keep it off for eight years. Small things that led to some weight loss for me were cutting out sugar in drinks. I drink mostly water, but also the occasional zero sugar drink. I try to keep the non water drinks to once or twice a day tops. Swap off of white bread, whole grain or multi grain replacements. Cut out carbs when you can. The only time I lost a significant amount of weight was when I was training for a half marathon. I hate running but I set a goal and worked towards it. A distance and a date. I didn't intend to lose weight, but I ended up losing 25 pounds in two months. I didn't even realise I lost any weight until after the fact. Activity-wise, walking. Striving for 10k day. It might sound daunting but it isn't. Also just increasing my neat. It makes the biggest difference. Diet, eat more fruits and vegetables and drink a lot of water. Eat veggies W every meal and a lot of them. They are filling and you get a lot for a little. Intermittent fasting. I dropped 40 pounds in six months just eating from 12 to 8 p.m. I've now extended that to one meal a day with light exercise and going strong. With that being said, it's not for everyone. My body responds very well to it since my metabolism slowed down significantly as I got older. Some simple methods to manage weight without much effort include portion control, drinking water before meals, increasing physical activity, choosing healthier options, and practicing mindful eating. However, sustainable weight loss usually requires a combination of healthy habits and mindset shifts. Start working intensely on something, and you won't have time to eat. But it takes effort. Alcohol requires no effort. It makes it easy to lose weight. A month's binge, 
and you can easily lose 10 or more kilograms. But, but, but you don't need to do this. Nothing can justify alcoholism. I use my stationary bike in front of my TV. To regular sized portions and eating schedules cause my blood sugar was being all stupid. And I feel so much better and don't have the same issues eating normal amounts of food on a normal schedule now. So I'm generally pretty skinny. But that's because I'm tall 6 foot 3 inches. There was a time I was around 200 pounds. What shaved it off was doing jumping jacks every day for a month. I lost a whooping 20 pounds since moving to a different state I've managed to hover at low 170s or high 160s. Fast every Monday. So literally do not eat anything all day Monday until Tuesday morning. Only water and coffee haha. Stomach will shrink so that you can only end up eating to three south of a plate of food you could eat before. Also remember the mentality of eat until no longer hungry, not full. I eat exactly half of everything I normally eat. No cheating. Has to be usual food intake but half. There's throwaway and I don't care like eating out burgers with family half of mine is trash. There's no carb, calorie, measuring and I don't talk about it. This works for me. Figuring out about 1,200 calories in a daily meal. Eat the exact same thing every day, but one day a week. Cut loose on a cheat day. When I fail to lose weight two weeks in a row. Cut back on my daily calories by 50 calories per day. Shrinking what I'm eating and continue.